My dear Clara, I'm sure my grandson is getting taller every day. I sure am. <laughs> the last month I've been very sick. The doctor says he's not sure why. Kind Mrs. Roberts brings me food, but she has her own family to care for. Let's go help him. Oh, Henry, I wish we could. But he needs us. I know, but we're here in Pennsylvania. Grandpa is all the way south in New Orleans. When I was your age, we made that trip, and it took over a month to get there just one way in the carriage. Maybe when school is over and I don't have to teach. But mother... Hold on, we'll finish their story. But first, we have to come here to New York 30 years earlier in 1807. You see, the Industrial Revolution has started. That's when machines began to do the work of people, often powered by the newly invented steam engine. These goods could be made faster and cheaper, but America is a big country and everyone is spread out. So a factory in one part of the country couldn't easily get their goods to a customer in another part. The question became how to get both people and goods from one place to another. This is Robert Fulton, an engineer who has just designed and built this boat. Powered not by a sail or by rowing, but by a steam engine. Relax, Robert. Today's launch is going to go well. Oh, I'm not so sure. And this is Robert Livingston. He was a part of writing the Declaration of Independence. And he is Robert Fulton's business partner in the steamboat. But what about them? <laughs> what are you waiting for? Let's see the boat sink! I mean, <laughs> sail. <laughs> yeah! Come on, Fulton! Just put a few more thousand dollars into it, huh? Maybe that'll make the engine work! <laughs> so what if we had to borrow more money to finish it? Think about it. It's about to sail powered only by steam. Oh! It's you, Mr. Smith. Shh, quiet. I'm incognito. I don't want people to see me talking to you two. My investment in this boat might sink. I think I want my money back. Hold on. Fear not. Great work, Robert. It wouldn't have happened without you. I never doubted it for a second. I always knew it would work. I invested in this boat, you know. This small trip from New York City to Albany, New York, led to America being connected by rivers, especially the mighty Mississippi. Well, America's growing, gotta keep things flowing, gotta keep this country alive. Gotta move, gotta groove, yeah, we gotta push through, gotta pick up the pace to thrive. We have an engine now with a lot of power and that works from heat and steam. We'll have faster boats with bigger loads to build the American dream. From state to state, we can ship what we make, yeah, the rivers will lack like roads. They connect us all and keep our big country small. Now watch her as she goes. 
Fulton's first steamboat, he built a larger, faster steamboat called the New Orleans, which brought goods and people together. Can't wait to see Grandpa. Me too. Sure glad we can take a steamboat in a week instead of months. Yes, a lot's changed since I was your age. I bet Mr. Fulton didn't know his boat would bring our family together. 